So I know you clicked on this video and you want the question answered. Are house flippers evil? Has HGTV ruined people's minds? Well, we're gonna jump into it, guys, because some of this stuff that's going on in this housing market is really unbelievable. And it's not just the house flippers. It's just not the TV network, HGTV. It's the people that are literally overpay for these houses and you guys won't believe it. My name is Orlando, welcome to the channel guys. And as always, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And also check out in the description, I have a real estate course for beginners and a YouTube course. Guys, listen, <laughs> this is super important because this is something that we have been seeing over and over and over. I'm, I'm in a loop. I'm caught in a time loop. This is exactly where it all went I know, wrong. I know. Remember two years ago when everybody was buying these houses and thinking they were master flippers? And now people are having a very hard time getting some of this property off the market. And they cannot afford holding costs. What? You're telling me these house flippers didn't prepare for the worst? <laughs> So I know some of you guys are saying, yeah, good for them. They deserve it. Let's take a deeper look into some of these listings that I've seen online that people are calling out. It says here, people are calling out house flippers who took a $260,000 New York home and now are selling it for 1.2 million. HGTV absolutely ruined people's brains. What? <laughs> now, can we really blame this on HGTV? <laughs> Now, does HGTV provide entertainment to make you believe that you can go out and flip a house right now? <laughs> they do. They do. They do make you believe that. You've been bamboozled. I saw a reality TV show, zombie flippers or zombie houses or something like that the other day, and you can actually feel that it's scripted. You can actually tell that the problems that they had in the house did not exist. <laughs> <laughs> but yet they're telling you and making a story for you so that it's entertaining for you. And I understand that, I really do. But you cannot be fooled into believing it's this easy to get into house flipping. You cannot be fooled thinking that you're gonna be able to turn a dollar and make millions to hundreds of thousands of dollars by doing your first flip and just miraculously becoming rich. <laughs> But then on the opposite end, you cannot be naive and think house flippers will not try to make you overpay on a home. I need my payday. You cannot believe that. You cannot think that a house flipper is going to say, home buyer, I'm gonna give you a good deal and I'm gonna lose money on this deal. An absolute <laughs> categorical never. Do not go into this market thinking that you're gonna get deals like that. So let's take a look at this listing here. It is ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this property here. It is 112 Washington Avenue. It's in Beacon, New York. It's on sale. You hear this? It's on sale. <laughs> for $1.2 million. Woo, man, can't you see you and your family in a $1.2 million home with three beds and two and a half baths? Woo, man, so much room. <laughs> look at this picture here. It looks so luxury. Look at this. It has that modern look. Oh man, look, it, look, it looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty good. Is it worth 1.2? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's take a look at this video from a from a creator here who talked about this home. Game called Guess How Much It Is Now. This video goes out to all the greedy delusional house flippers and corporations in my area who are buying houses like this and doing too much. So this is a photo of a house in Beacon, New York, about 55 miles north of New York City, and it was taken in 2019. And here's a quick look at the other houses in the neighborhood. You see it's your typical small northeastern town. And a year later, the house was sold to someone or something for $260,000. And this is what it looks like now. And as you can see, whoever or whatever bought it, gutted it completely and started over. Here's some pictures of the inside. You can see completely redone. It's giving midlife crisis recently divorced. And here's the fun part. Shocker, it's on the market again after all of these renovations. And I want you to guess how much they put it on the market for. I'll give you two seconds. You're wrong. The answer is $1.25 million. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, 
<laughs> Let's talk about it guys. So $260,000 it was purchased for before the renovation. Now I would expect that all of my viewers and subscribers would know how to go to a Zillow listing and look at the very bottom where you can see exactly how much the home was purchased for. And now we can see on this listing, it was $260,000. Now, now, is the difference between the 260 and the 1.2 ridiculous? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It seems a little greedy knowing that not that much has changed probably for the home. That would be my guess, right? Based on we don't know how much they put into it, but I'm pretty sure you didn't put $800,000. <laughs> Uh, into the property. $800,000 of material and work, I doubt that they did that. Let's just be conservative here, guys. Let's just say they put in $400,000, right? $400,000, it's another, you know, that's $660,000 that they're all in for, and the profit that they're gonna make on this property would be another additional estimate, $600,000. Hello. I like money. Does that seem a little greedy? Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, it really does. So it, it feels like a corporation may have bought this. It's giving me corporation Zillow open door vibes. <laughs> Uh, you know, so it wouldn't surprise me because these corporation, these flippers, you know, especially the big corporation flippers, they do not care, guys. How many times have I told you guys these corporations do not care if they oversell you a home? If you have to overpay to get this home that's in Beacon, New York, right? Beacon, New York, you're paying $1.2 million for. Insane. And they do not care that you will do this. And it gets worse, guys. It gets worse. Let's take a look at the records right on this property it shows that the property was bought at two hundred and sixty thousand dollars right then they put it up for sale in september 10th 2022 for 1.1 right almost 1.2 million they removed the listing when they didn't get it when they didn't sell it they come back they have the audacity <laughs> <laughs> to come back in June of this year and they upped the price. It wasn't enough to make 1.1 million. They said we need to make $100,000 more. Has asked for more. For more? I know what you're thinking. Orlando, maybe everything around that area is worth $1.1 million or $1.2 million. Well, let's take a look. In comparison, the house next door is a two bedroom, one bath residence and sold for $377,000 in December 2020. Redfin's listing says that the median listing price for homes in that particular zip code is $550,000. That the median sales price is $522. So it seems they're doing almost triple almost triple guys what that medium price is the houses next door don't even equate to that and this is the crazy greediness of the reason why some of these guys are doing videos on this and calling corporations and flippers and saying that they're evil is because a lot of these guys no matter if it's a corporation or an individual especially the individuals have went on and watched HGTV saw these flippers and saw that these guys were making three four five hundred thousand dollars on their first flip and they're doing that they're trying to get rich on their first flip they're trying to make as much money possible to bounce out and be like, yeah, I killed it on my first deal and use that money to parlay it into other riches. They don't care about you guys. They do not care, guys. They're trying to make the most money that they possibly can. And even though I'm making this video right now and I'm giving you a cautionary tale of why you shouldn't buy properties like this, why you shouldn't fall into FOMO and don't do it, why you shouldn't go in looking at the bottom data, seeing someone purchased a home for $260,000 and thinking it's okay to give them additional million dollars. Even though I'm telling you guys, you shouldn't do this. There's gonna be one person out there that's gonna say, this is a great deal. They're gonna support someone overcharging someone by half a million dollars from the median price in that neighborhood. They're going to do that. 
and it's going to start a domino effect on everybody going in, purchasing, rebuilding, and turning these, these modest homes into these luxury homes that are overpriced that no one can afford. Raising up the property taxes, raising up insurance, raising up everything in that neighborhood, guys. This is what I'm talking about because HGTV and house flippers are telling people, if you do this, you can make so much money. When that isn't really the case, you're putting yourself at risk to lose everything. It's not easy. Yeah, two years ago, you could go buy a home and easily flip it and everybody would buy it. But now, do, can you do that now? Not with vacancy rates, not with everybody sitting on the sideline, not when mortgage demand is the lowest it's ever been in 15 years. So the real question is, do you have holding power? Do you have enough money to withstand you going into foreclosure? <laughs> do you have enough money to hold the property for six months? Or should you drop down the price to the median price? Oh no, oh no. You don't think house flippers would do that? Do you think house flippers got into this game so they could sell you a house at, at the medium price of what the home is worth? No. So here's my thing, guys. The point of this video is do not fall for this stuff. Do not fall in the FOMO category where you feel that you need to overpay and buy homes like this that are drastically over. Because here's the thing. I would not be surprised if next year, two years from now, we go look at this same exact house and the value has dropped by $300,000. I would not be surprised by that because the property is overvalued to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> that is the point. So don't let these house flippers and HGTV get you all hyped up to think that you can become a house flippers. Buyers, don't let HGTV make you believe that you can go in here and get a, a steal of a deal and that a house flipper is going to be on your side to make sure that you get an affordable house. Trust your instincts. Look at the research. Make sure you look at what people paid for the house previously to see if you're getting ripped off like this. This stuff is insane. Don't believe the hype. As always, guys, you won't get all your information from this one video. Make sure you check out this video here. I promise you, you will get information on the housing market, financial news, getting to your first rental property, and the information you will get from those videos, it will be gold, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.